Welcome to Campsaparts Automotive Limited. Today, we will be talking about flywheel and how it works. What is a flywheel? The flywheel is a very important component in a manual transmission car. This component keeps moving all the time to ensure the car is well controlled. Functions of car flywheel. As explained above, the flywheel is a component that must be present in a manual car. Flywheel on the car serves to rotate the engine. The flywheel is the first location where the car engine rotates. When the car engine is turned on, apart from turning the engine, the flywheel also has other functions, namely, one, saving mechanical power, not only rotates the engine. The function of the flywheel is to store mechanical energy to balance the engine so that it continues to have good performance. Mechanical power is the energy created when the engine is running. The flywheel works to balance the mechanical power by storing it. 2. Connecting components to the clutch in manual cars. The clutch is a very vital component. The clutch is useful for running the engine and the components in it. In this case, the flywheel functions as a place to install the clutch and connect the components contained in the clutch. 3. Balancing the engine speed. Another function of the flywheel is to balance the engine speed. It also plays a role in inhibiting the supply of mechanical energy and transmitting rotational energy from the piston to the engine parts. With the flywheel, the engine rotation of the car will be more stable. How flywheels work? The flywheel works by storing mechanical energy generated by torque and then releasing this energy by rotating the engine. When saving mechanical energy, the engine speed will increase. And when mechanical energy is released, the stability of the engine speed will be maintained properly. The machine can rotate stably. Mechanical energy is transferred to the flywheel via torque, which causes an increase in rotational speed. This is what allows energy to be stored, vice versa. When the flywheel releases stored energy, the flywheel rotates the mechanical load to maintain the stability of the rotation of the engine. Types of flywheel. Flywheel has various types that are useful for the movement of car engine performance, especially in manual cars. Here are the types. Flywheel has various types that are useful for the movement of car engine performance, especially in manual cars. Here are the types. 1. High-speed flywheel. This type of flywheel has a high speed, ranging from 30,000 revolutions per minute to 60,000 revolutions per minute. High-speed flywheel contains magnetic levitation with a relatively light weight. Maintenance of high-speed flywheels is very easy, but they are quite expensive. 2. Low-speed flywheel. When compared to high-speed flywheels, this type of flywheel has a low speed of 10,000 revolutions per minute. This type of flywheel is quite heavy and large, so regular maintenance is required. For installation, the low-speed flywheel needs concrete construction to support its weight because they do not use magnetic levitation bearings. Low-speed flywheels cost less. Symptoms of a bad flywheel. Below are the symptoms that occur when a flywheel is faulty. 1. Clutch slipping. This flywheel issue occurs when changing gears while driving. The gear may slip. This happens when no power is transferred to the wheels, resulting in a worn clutch. Slipping the clutch will eventually wear out the flywheel as well. Grinding noises may suddenly occur from the pressure plate and the other parts of the flywheel. In the clutch assembly will overheat. This will lead to warp and even crack. 2. Clutch dragging. This flywheel dilemma is similar to that of clutch slipping in its situation. The clutch won't completely release. This will cause various levels of gear grinding when the gear is changed. In fact, it might lead to complete failure of putting the car into first gear. When starting from a standstill, this issue is not directly from the flywheel, but in the bearing or bushing in the flywheel or crankshaft assembly. 3. A burning smell. A burning smell is produced. When the clutch works improperly, this is caused by a bad flywheel or an inexperienced driver. The facings of the clutches are designed with materials, which intended to reduce the amount of noise the clutch makes while working. This facing produces a lot of heat due to friction. If not properly operated, 
Thus, an acrid smell that is quite noticeable occurs. 4. Clutch pedal vibrates. You noticed vibrations coming from the clutch pedal or vehicle's floor when the flywheel is faulty. This happens because the flywheel's spring mounts have gone bad. This is to let you know the spring mechanism normally reduces the vibrations generated by the clutch being used. 5. Clutch chatter. This problem occurs when finding it difficult to engage the clutch. It skips along with the flywheel as the clutch grabs and releases the flywheel repeatedly. It feels like a stutter or vibration when released. Clutch chatter often happens in any gear. Popularly, when starting from a complete stop, a warped flywheel can sometimes be the cause. This problem can be difficult to diagnose as the clutch disc, pressure plate, or release bearing are at fault. These parts might be worn, broken, warped, or even contaminated by oil. It shows the same symptoms as the clutch chatter. That will be all for today. To get any original car spare part anywhere in Nigeria, please visit www.kimcparts.com.